What's up guys, Brad Bernoff, and gals, Brad Bernofsky here. Uh, just wanted to quick shoot a video today. On a couple powerful lessons, short, like small lessons I learned over the weekend. I'm in my new home. Uh, my wife and I sort of just moved in. We've been cleaning, painting this past weekend. And uh, it's, you know, it's coming together. We haven't quite fully uh, moved in yet, but it's coming together. But, you know, behind me, here's one of the walls, this green wall that I just, that we, I painted this weekend. And one of the things that, one of the things that, that uh, while painting the wall, that I realized this weekend, is if you don't give your subconscious mind, or if you don't have a clear, like, why, uh, gi giving your, uh, uh, your subconscious um, orders on what you do want, you will get what you don't want. Here's an example. Here's what happened this weekend. Um, painting these walls, doing some other things like vacuuming and stuff like, but painting the walls, uh, the person in charge said, don't make sure you don't paint the ceiling because, you know, we want to keep the ceiling white and the walls green. So don't paint the ceiling, right? So guess what? That, that was an order. And that was a, a, it gave my subconscious a program right there, an order. Subconscious mind doesn't understand. Don't, doesn't understand that. Don't, it doesn't, you know, so all my, what my subconscious heard, mind heard was paint the wall, paint the ceiling, right? So guess what happened? I ended up hitting the ceiling a couple times, right? And I ended up getting yelled at, but hey, it happens. But I realized then, later that weekend, I, I would hear, don't touch the walls. Don't touch the walls, they're wet. Don't touch the walls, right? So what happened? I touched the walls by accident, you know? It just, it just like happened. I, even though I heard it, Brad, don't touch the walls, don't touch the walls, I touched the walls. Um, other thing, you know, vacuuming. Don't make sure you don't vacuum and, and vacuum into the, the things we painted. Don't vacuum the wall because you know it's wet, wet paint. What happened? I back, I, I, I ran into it. What I realized, I started giving my. I realized that I said, wait a minute. I'm giving my subconscious false. Uh, I'm giving my subconscious um, programs or um, requests of what I don't want. What if I turned it around and gave gave it what I do want, right? And I started doing that. And I started visioning, you know, when I'm, even when I'm vacuuming. And these are little things. You wouldn't think they're a big deal, but what do I do want? Okay, so instead of don't paint the ceiling, well, what do I, what do I want? I want to make sure I stay on the wall. Just, just paint the wall. Stay clear of the ceiling. That's a request. Okay, subconscious, got it. Um, make sure you, you know, you keep your hands off the walls. That's a request. That's what you do want, you know. And, and do, do you see what I mean? You have to know what you want. Most people are focusing on, you know, their current situations, and they're focusing on what they don't want. You know, oh, I don't. You know, they, they don't have money, or they don't have this or that, and they're focusing nonstop on that, on their situ their current situation, what they don't want, or they're going throughout their day, um, you know building a business or, or whatever and they're and they're doing things to avoid what they they're, they're focusing on what they don't want like are you building your business based on out of fear because you know you don't want to be poor anymore or something like that like that mindset no you have to know what you want and these are little illustrations I just gave you but they add up they, they when you start to tweak your mindset even with the little things focusing on what you do want even if it's just painting a wall it's going to begin to bleed into your your, your, your thinking will change and everything will change, your thinking will change and your program will be such that you'll be thinking about what you do want. So what do you want in your life? What do you want for your business? Right? And that's the subject of tomorrow's video because I'm going to go into how, uh, how we actually got this house because there's a four-step plan um, of, of, that I followed that actually we got this house. Uh, we didn't think we were going to get it but actually it turned out we got it. And there's a neat little story behind it, and uh, it's pretty incredible. So stay tuned for that tomorrow, guys. And uh, yeah, so that's all I got today. So focus on what you do want, know what you want, and, and take action based on what you do want, what you see. See it done, see yourself doing it, and it'll be done that way. All right? Give your, give your subconscious um, positive program. All right, guys, have a good one. Peace.